Today, I'm here to help her launch a new initiative, which is a nationwide change.org petition that calls for all states to find funding to pay for all of their backlogs of untested rape kits and to upload all the usable DNA in federal database known as CODIS. And CODIS is used to identify serial criminals and help prevent them from hurting future victims. Every kit could represent a victim still awaiting justice. And it is unconscionable that these victims have voluntarily subjected themselves to an hours long, a minimum of four hours long examination that had the potential evidence collected from their bodies and that that evidence has been allowed to sit on shelves. Too many times people, they just think, I can't, and I can't make a difference. My, maybe my vote doesn't count or my voice doesn't count. All you have to do is look at Madison and know that that isn't true, that anybody can make a difference on an important topic. I want to start by saying thank you. Thank you to each and every person who signed our petitions. Thank you to every organization willing to get involved and believing in the cause. And most of all, thank you to my dad. If it wasn't for his support and guidance, my desire to help would have never had direction. This all started 10 months ago when watching a TV show on YouTube called Code Justice, Sex Crimes Justice for Flynn. The, just Google it and you will find out. It, the, cause, the case was about two violent sexual assaults that occurred in Flint, Michigan that were able to identify the assailants through DNA testing of the rape kits. Although these two survivors uh, were able to find justice, the show went on to discuss hundreds of rape kits in Flint County Police Department that were untested in the hundreds of thousands across the country. I asked my dad if those other rape kits would ever get tested. He looked at me and sat, looked at me sad and said, it would take years and they may never test them all. So I asked him what we could do about it and that question is what led us here. My dad told us to make a change and we needed the support of the community to get people to listen. So I spent every day after school and the entire summer trying to bring awareness and support to the topic. We received 500 signatures by sitting outside near a bike path, bike path and stopping everyone as they came by but I knew it still wasn't enough. So we started asking help from local businesses and churches. The Trinity Episcopal Church was so gracious to instantly want to help and provide support. They invited us to Mass and every, every person Every single person leaving that church stopped and listened to our story and signed the petition. It was the day I realized that this could be that this could really make a change, difference.